You mentioned that at 35 weeks, your doctor told you that your placenta had calcifications on it, and I'm assuming um, he or she saw these on ultrasound. It can be normal to see certain types of calcifications, but there are many different kinds, and they can occur in different layers of the placenta. Some are worrisome and due to pathological issues, and others just may naturally occur as the placenta starts to age. It would be best for you to talk with your doctor and ask them what their concerns are for your situation because they don't know the specifics about what types of calcifications there are and what other risk factors exist in your pregnancy. You mentioned that your doctor is going to do a non-stress test or an NST, and this is a good standard of practice. This is what is usually done in these situations, and what it involves is monitoring the pattern of your baby's heart rate and also your contraction pattern. And the pattern of your baby's heart rate tells us a lot about how your baby's doing. It tells us about their oxygenation status, and certain kinds of heart rate patterns will tell us if there's an issue with the placenta or the umbilical cord. And so if your doctor saw anything concerning, I'm sure they would do prolonged monitoring and if severe enough, recommend delivery. But if everything looks good on your non-stress test, then it's okay for you to stay pregnant a few more days and follow up again for another non-stress test and wait until either your body goes into labor or your doctor recommends delivery. The best indication that you have when you're not on the monitor that your baby's doing well while inside of you is that your baby will move regularly. So pay close attention to your baby's movement and if you ever notice a decrease from your norm, then get rid of all distractions, lay down on your side because that's the position that your baby will get the best blood flow in, and count every single movement. If you get six movements per hour, then your baby's good. But if you get 10 or less movements in two hours, then you should go to the hospital and get another non-stress test. And again, this is the best way that we have to test your baby to find out if they're doing well or not. We are huge believers in a mother's intuition, so if at any point you're concerned about your pregnancy or your baby, don't hesitate to call your doctor and let them know about your concerns. And after asking you more specific questions, they can decide if an exam is necessary. Good luck with everything, and if you have any other questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms, and recommend us to your friends and family too.